to the family of the deceased, to all comrades that lived and struggled with them in Camp Liberty and Camp Ashraf, to dear Mrs. President Rajavi, dear Prime Minister, dear friends, I'm really deeply sorry that we have had to come for a third time here to say that an atrocious massacre took place. And now also to say that the promises, the guarantees that were given by the highest international authorities were absolutely hollow. That what happened was predicted time ago when it was pointed out repeatedly by the Iranian resistant spokespersons that this camp had no defense whatsoever to this type of attack. And yet these guarantees were given. And yet these very same people that uh, said once and again that had the courage to come to this very same room where we are right now to repeat these promises, they just, they do not even come to the place, they say, well, it is insecure to come to the place where this took place. This is absolutely atrocious. We had a very fruitful afternoon, very important people that uh, spoke to us and explained to us what all of this means. And I think that right now we have to say that the United Nations as a charter, as principles, the United Nations is not a consultancy or a lobbying firm. The United Nations cannot accept to manage an operation like the one of Iraq according to the financing of this operation. It's not understandable, it's not acceptable that the Islamic Republic of Iran is actually one of the biggest financial supports of UNAMI. It's not acceptable that UNAMI leader is there for an obvious business proposal and the business intention by the German authorities. The conflicts of interest of this gentleman are so, so obvious that no person can ignore them. And yet, he is still there, and we hear two foreign affairs diplomacies saying and repeating their trust on someone that uh, for his deeds, for his situation, for what uh, is obviously a conflict of interest, he cannot give. And this tragedy starts right there. And I, I, I have to say that uh, the reason why I am more confident in the future is that there are always people like our dear friend Har Boumedra that comes and that says this very important thing. To remain silent is not an option. Exactly. To remain silent is not an option. We cannot continue to observe these kind of things and saying, pretending that this is nothing. This is outrageous. This is a crime against Iranian people and against humanity. 
And we have to say right now that a full and immediate investigation has to be done immediately on what happened. As I was being explained by Colonel Martin uh, just before I, I, uh, I started, uh, when you have uh, something like, uh, like a drill, a circular drill uh, of a, a missile that goes four or five meters deep in, uh, vertically, well, it means a very simple thing. It means it was launched very, very close to the target so that it can go up and down uh, vertically. So what it means is that the holes that briefly appeared in these last videos and that uh, have been uh, going on, uh, and they should be uh, independently verified and the Iraqi authorities should allow them to be verified, they were done from within the so-called security perimeter of the camp. So it means that those who are maintaining this so-called security perimeter are those who committed the murder. This is prima facie evidence. No one can ignore it. And we have to go for this. And we have to go for a full investigation as was required here on what UNAMI does, what are its interests, what are the obvious conflicts of interests, what are the, uh, the, the aims, the economic expansion aims, the contracts made by uh, the main uh, investor, because that's an investment, the main investor on UNAMI, which is Germany. Uh, this is the logic we cannot accept anymore, because this is the logic that is murdering our friends. And this logic is being allowed by those in the West that are unable to learn any lesson. They did not understand that these uh, radical, fanatic dictatorships, they start by killing their own people, but they never stop there. They export terrorism. They uh, are a, uh, an investment that will certainly never pay off in the future for those who want to live in peace and democracy. And this is what I think we shall all do. We have to say very clearly, since you promised loads of things from A to Z and the most important of all, uh, security uh, in uh, liberty and you did not fulfill it, you have to guarantee immediately that we can come back to Ashraf as where all of you, you were. This is something, this is something absolutely urgent. And we have to demand a real United Nations that is based completely on its charter on principles. We do not want a United Nations that is a, a sort of business venture. This is not acceptable anymore. So to all of you, I would like to say that this crime will never, never stop none of us. It will create more and more Iranian people that will go to defy the oppressors, and there will be people that are not Iranian, but are human beings. And at every level we'll say, we cannot remain silent, we will denounce this, we will want justice, we want freedom, we want respect and law for everyone, and this will happen no matter how much time we will have to wait. Thank you very much.